Today on MTG Unpacked, we're getting stuck into another Ikoria Lair of Behemoth's bundle for a patron. So let's introduce the patron. It is Mark McGrain. Thank you for being a patron, sir. So he gets this entire box and everything in it, all of these goodies here. So without further ado, let's get into it. And if you've missed any of the other Ikoria openings on the channel, I'll pop a link up in the corner, you can check it out. Alright, let's get this wrapping off. And I've actually been doing a bunch of deck techs in MTG Arena lately, so if you missed those, I'll pop a link up in the corner to those as well. Uh, the most recent one was a pretty crazy colossal fling deck. So it is as janky as it sounds. Alright, so we have 10 packs. Perfect. Where is the dice? Alright, so let's check it out. Where's the symbol here? There it is, the little uh, monster symbol. We're going to roll a lucky 7, 12. Alright, sorry about that mark. I guess uh, the luck has run out. Let's move this here and get stuck into it. So there are some promo cards and a bunch of other stuff in there. Um, if you want to check that stuff out, definitely look at one of the other bundle openings. Okay, so let's boost that exposure a little bit, get some nice brightness here. We have a Blitz Leech, a delightful creature indeed. Tentative connection, Greater Sandworm, Aegis Turtle, Whisper Squad, Pyroceratops, Humble Naturalist, Perimeter Sergeant, Farfinder, and Uncommon's Trumpeting Gnar. And if you ever wondered what a Gnar was, there you go. Skull Prophet, Heartless Act, and the rare is Gigantha the Wellspring, legendary creature, Elemental Elk, 5-5 five, five for 5 with Companion. So no card in your starting deck has more than one of these same mana symbol in its mana cost. You can tap to add every colour there. This mana can't be spent to pay generic mana costs. So is that a uh, companion you have used? Leave a note in the comments and whoa! I wasn't paying attention. But we got a foil extended art gem razor. Ah, look at this thing. Holy moly, comic book art. Fantastic pull there. I didn't even know you could get those in here. And a forest and a little punch out card. Okay, this is one of the thin ones. Okay, moving on. I think the thicker ones are in the pre-release boxes. I guess they couldn't put it in the regular booster packs just because they're so much thicker. Okay, next up we have Springjaw Trap Crustacean, Lurking Deadeye, Dranith Stinger, Mysterious Egg, Frost Lynx. Getting a bit of avalanche here already. Ram through, Main Serval, Boot Nipper, Fertilid, and Uncommon's Neutralize, Huntmaster Liger, Blitz of the Thunder Raptor, and a Mythic, yes, Fiend Artisan. Creature Nightmare, 1-1 one, one for 2. Fiend Artisan gets plus 1, plus 1 for each creature card in your graveyard. And for X, and either a black or green tap, suck like another creature. Search your library for a creature card with command amount of cost X, so let's put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library, activate this ability, only any time you could cast a sorcery. And some fantastically creepy artwork there. So, first Mythic Pool, and a Dismal Backwater, and a Kraken Token! Alright! Moving on! So I think the record we've had on the channel for the most mythics from a bundle was held by Ravnica Allegiance. I'll pop a link up in the corner there in case you missed that one. Absolutely crazy five mythic bundle. Have you ever beaten that? Leave a note in the comments. Next pack we have Coordinated Charge, Frostvale Ambush, Suffocating Fumes, Ferocious Tigerilla, Cat Ape. Okay, that's a bit of a stretch. Bristling Boar, Migratory Great Horn, Divine Arrow, Glimmer Bell, Essence Symbiote, and Uncommon's Necro Panther, Sonorous Howbonder, Flame Spill, and Rare is Dirge Bat, Creature Bat 3 3 for 4 with Mutate 4 and 2 Black. So if you cast this spell for its Mutate cost, put it over or under target non human creature you own. They mutate into the creature on top, plus all abilities from under it. 
It has flash and flying whenever this creature mutates, destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. Very nice, and a foil, almighty brushwag. Let's get the light, there we go. Some nice foiling on this magnificent beast. Uh, he can go in the foil pile there, and a swamp, and a checklist card, and actually let's get another look at that nice foiling there. That didn't really come out too well. Okay, there we are, moving on. So what is the craziest pull you have had from a pack of Ikoria so far? Have you tucked into any of those collector boosters? Curious what it is. Okay, we have Convolute, Durable Coilbug, Raking Claws, Thieving Otter, bring back my baggage sir, Blitzleech, Blisterspit Gremlin, Checkpoint Officer, Fertilid, Pategia Tiger and Uncommon's Charge of the Forever Beast. Pouncing Shore Shark, that is just classic. Sanctuary Lockdown, and the rare is Zerda the Dawn Waker, legendary creature, Ermental Fox 3 3 for 3, with companion each permanent card in your starting deck has an activated ability. Abilities you activate that aren't mana abilities cost two less to activate. This effect can't reduce mana in that cost to less than one mana. And for one tap, target creature can't block this turn. Alright, and a foil, Ominous Seas. We are doing pretty nicely with the foils here. Rugged Highlands and a Human Soldier. Okay, so let's see. Halfway through with this pack. Take a peek at Ikoria Commander decks. Yes, we have actually reviewed those on the channel. Some good stuff there. What's your favorite of the five decks? All right, we have Blade Banish Capture Sphere. This is a blatant Pokemon reference. Neutral Destruction, Spell Eater Wolverine, Sleeper Dart, Facet Reader, Cloud Piercer, Honey Mammoth, Volpakeet, Alternate Art, very nice. Ram Through, and Uncommon's Ketria Crystal. Proud Wild Bonder, there's another Pokemon reference. Reptilian Reflection, and the rare Gyruda, Doom of Depths. Nice, Legendary Creature, Demon Kraken, 6646 mana with a companion. Your starting deck contains only cards with even converted mana costs. And when Gyruda enters the battlefield, each player puts the top four cards of the library into their graveyard. Yes, Mill. Put a creature card with an even converted mana cost from among those cards onto Battlefield under your control. So I like how they've uh, brought the, actually named the Mechanic Mill now on the Core 2021 cards. And a Planes and Human Soldier. And we did a lovely Mill deck tech on the channel, so that's in the MTG Arena playlist. I popped that up earlier, I think. So absolutely craziness. Lots of milling fun. Okay, next we have Unlikely Aid. Go for Blood. Plummet. Keep Safe. Durable Coilbug. Lava Serpent. Main Serval. Farfinder Adventurous Impulse. Solid Footing and Uncommons. Ivy Elemental. Jubilant Skybonder. Easy Prey. There he is on the playmat. And the rare is Mythos of Vadrock. Fantastic Sir McKinnon artwork here. Sorcery for four. Deals 5 damage fire as you choose among any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers. If a white and blue was spent to cast a spell until your next turn, those permanents can't attack or block and their activated abilities can't be activated. And a Swiftwater Cliffs and Human Soldier. So we are not getting that crazy token I'm looking for. Actually, there's a couple of them. You can probably guess what the uh, token is I'm after, but let's keep an eye out. Next pack we have Crustacean. Serrated Scorpion, Raking Claws, Garrison Cat, Frostvale Ambush, Lurking Deadeye, Boot Nipper, Survivor's Bond, Helica Glider, this thing's hilarious, Nightmare Squirrel, got a couple of those around the neighborhood, Essence Scatter, and Uncommon Savai Crystal, Cunning Knight Bonder, Rooting Moloch, and nice, Full Art, Rogren Triome, or Extended Art as the case may be. So you can tap it for blue, red, or white. Enters the battlefield tap, cycle it for three. One of these so-called cycle lands. Very nice. And a mountain and human soldier. We keep, how many human soldiers? We've got three. Okay, we did get the Kraken, so that's something. 
but not the token I am looking for, alas. We hopefully will find one of those here. Okay, we get Blazing Volley, Phase Dolphin, Corpse Churn, Forbidden Friendship, Adaptive Shimmer, Gust of Wind, Fully Grown, Sabai Sabertooth, Fire Prophecy. That's a nice one in foil, Wilt, Uncorn's Exuberant Wolf Bear, Escape Protocol, Chittering Harvester, and Rare Inspired Ultimatum. Sorcery for seven. Target player gains five life. Inspired ultimatum deals five damage for any target, then you draw five cards. Nice reporter cliffs and one of these little punch out cards. All right, next pack. And you may have noticed on this channel, you've probably left already if it bothers you, but we do take a look at the commons and uncommons. I know it's quite horrifying. I have lots of comments of disgust from people. Um, so yeah, you're, I think you're in the wrong place. If you hate the commons and uncommons, we like to look at all the artwork, such as suffocating fumes. Look at that. Somebody spent a lot of effort on that drawing. Granite Stinger, Aegis Turtle, Whisper Squad, Prickly Marmoset, look into my eyes. This thing just makes me laugh sometimes. I don't know why. Pacifism, Springjaw Trap, Essence Symbiote, Imposing Vantasaur, and Uncommon's Zenith Flare. That is a nasty piece of work. Lord Dracus, Porcuparrot, and rare is Kogla the Titan Ape, Legendary Creature Ape, 7 6 4 6 mana. Whoa! When it enters the battlefield, it fights up to one target creature you don't control, and whenever it attacks, destroy a target artifact or enchantment, defending player controls. One on a green, return target human new control to its owner's hand. Kugler gains indestructible until end of turn. I like that flavor there, sort of a homage to King Kong. And a foil rare, Quartzwood Crasher. Creature, dinosaur beast, 6-6 six, six, for 5 mana with trample. Whenever one or more creatures you control with trample, deal combat damage to a player. Create an XX green dinosaur beast creature token with trample, where X is the amount of damage those creatures dealt to that player. Okay, lots of foils this time, and a forest and human soldier. I think the pull rate now, they were saying, was like one in every three packs or something like that. Which looks about right. We've got four foils so far. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Final pack magic, we have Light of Hope. Of One Mind, Dark Bargain, Frenzied Raptor, Frost Lynx, Day Squad Marshal, Cabin Whisperer, Flycatcher Jurafid, Pacifism, and Uncommon, <coughs> excuse me, Uncommon's Escape Protocol, Keen Sight Mentor, Easy Prey, there he is again, and the rare, Kahira the Orphan Guard, Legendary Creature, Cat Beast, 3 2 for 3, has Companion, each creature card in your starting deck is a cat. Elemental Nightmare Dinosaur or Beast card. Nice. With Vigilance, each other creature you control that's a cat. Elemental Nightmare Dinosaur or Beast gets plus one plus one and has Vigilance. Alright, and a Foil Island. Just a basic one, but still a Foil and Rugged Highlands. And no table required in the arena. Alright, so there we have it. I'd like to thank the patron, Mark McGrain. Thanks a lot for all the support, sir. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.